I really wanted to have this conversation with you guys because I would argue that we all have a passive or to major ranging interest in video games, <laughs> would you say? I know some nights are up late, dog, because I'm also up late. Some nights I'm up pretty late. So before we have this conversation, I just want to start off by gauging how like how far each of us is into playing games in general. So who wants to start? I guess I'll start. I'm probably not the most. I think Ian, you probably have me beat. I you would be the most. No, I think Ian might have me beat. I played yesterday alone. I played five different games, two of them at the same time, one of them for eight hours. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> eight hours of Skyrim. I played Ready or Not, which is a newer game. I played some Halo, and then that crashed. And then I played some Halo, and then that crashed. And then I played more Skyrim. <laughs> All right, so hours. it sounds like yesterday was a big game bonanza day for you. Yeah, I played... Um, NHL while we were playing other games too okay. on my TV while I was playing games on my computer. All right, uh, Jokelin, what's your general experience with video games? Do you, would you say you play anywhere near as much as Ian? I dabble. I I like to dabble. I play some video game. Okay. A lot. All right. More than you. Yeah, probably. <laughs> well, I was about to say that like I used to be really into that kind of world when I was like in my teens mostly, mm-hmm. and yeah. I, as it stands right now, I'm like in my twenties, so it's not like I'm very far removed I'm from old. that. Um, but like the way I kind of like evolved, I guess you could say in life is like video games are really, or they can be really, really fun if they're good. But for me, it's like, I only like a very specific kind of game. I was literally going to say, Jake, you're very specific with the kind of games you like. I hate first person shooters. You know what you like? What do I like? Batman Arkham style games. Open world. Open, uh, yes, so that's Jake part of it. likes Batman Arkham style combat games. So I like open world action adventure games, like specifically the stuff that Spider Man PS4. Third person, third person as well. Spider Man PS4, Batman PS4, or all consoles really. Shadow of War is amazing. All those are Assassin's Creed Black Flag, the one where you're a pirate. All those kinds of games, you kind of look at them and they have shocking similarities. Like one button is to attack and one button is to counter their attack yep and it's simplistic like that it's not shocking at all it's just they all copied arkham they all yeah, yeah so they all kind of <laughs> copy arkham so every like, single one of them every single one of arkham. them just copied arkham actually warner brothers games also made shadow of war so yeah. they copied their own formula yeah, yeah so like for me and then there's slight spins on that right and know? for me like my perfect games are just ones that are basically a, a different version of the arkham games i don't know why my brain is like that Jake like would love Witcher Three Wild Hunt. It has a similar ish combat. Ian, I would fucking love Witcher Three Wild Hunt. It has I a can't similar wait. combat. I, you know, the what do thing you mean is, you like, can't wait. You can play it. I can, but like the thing is, like I don't. I'm trying to like get a lot done, and games don't really let me do that often. Like I'm trying to edit a lot for the channel. I'm trying to write a fucking book, if you can believe it. I'm try. Well, I have to. I'm now reemployed from being between jobs for a while now. So like, I, it's this whole shebang and like. I just I know if I start The Witcher Three Wild Hunt, that'll be the next like forty hours over the next week or two of that I'll just invest into it like a full work shift. You, you won't even I mean? get a third of the way done with forty hours. I'm sure, and I'm I'll be happy about it because I could do more of that game. You know, yeah. I'm so excited about that kind of stuff. But like, for me, like I have to temper myself and kind of like hold myself back from diving super deep into that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to like give the audience kind of like a purview of what all three of us kind of feel about video games because the topic isn't about our favorite video games it's about the video game movie genre now this is a weird genre i wouldn't consider it it's a not genre. a genre well, i would consider it like an umbrella i would use the term because well, the definition of genre is that it's a type of movie so it fits you know? uh, animated it's so. not a genre it's a i type guess of like movie. a categorization it, yeah instead of genre would put well, it. well i mean to make but. the case you could Make a if you said every Leonardo DiCaprio movie where he had red hair, you could make a genre out of that. That's a oddly specific genre. Of I movie. mean, you could also just say Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, that's yeah. a genre of movies that star Leonardo DiCaprio. My favorite genre, Leo. It's not a it, genre. All, well, what is a genre if not a type of movie? <laughs> what is love? If, what is grief if not love persevering? <laughs> there you go, Wanda. <laughs> but yeah, that's the way I see it because there's no other definition of it. I would just say a category. I think that limit yeah. Yeah, that limits it too much because that when you say genre, that's like the trying video to movie s- span a bunch of different genres. That's sure. the thing. Yeah, sure. Like a video game itself has many genres. Yeah, I know. And one of those genres for a video game isn't just video game. I, yeah, I, I, know. I say categorization. That's more than that's genre. better. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, but you could also make a genre of video games designed by a certain person. That would be a genre of video game because that be all a it list? is. All it is, yes, yeah, a list. because all a genre movies is, are a genre. Yes, 
Because all it is is a type of thing. So specifically for movies or games and stuff, a genre of them is a type of them. Is the way I, that's like, fine because it's the only real way to because there's no other definition for it because you know what is an action movie if not a movie that has action in it okay you know? I almost just said the the Wanda thing <laughs> yeah that's what I, well that's my point like it, there's no alternative better definition than no, a type when of you movie. say well, here's the thing genre to me is like we have a list of video game movies up right now. Yep. Like if I, action, adventure, spy, like things like that. Yeah, I agree completely. I, those are also in those genres. If I say, you know, the Street Fighter movie and Resident Evil both had the same genre, someone's going to slap me because they're two completely different movies. Yeah. Just okay. because they're both based upon video games. Well, that's like saying, well, that's the thing, same, same thing with books. You don't say book is a genre. Well, to that, I'd say who in the world would think that a movie can only have one genre? Well, Nobody, those movies right? don't have one genre. I, I would argue no movie would have one genre. That's impossible. Book adaptations, do you consider that a book genre? You could make a genre out of that. I think, I'm asking you, yes or I no. Do you Would you consider that a simply genre? Be, simply because I consider a genre a type of movie? Absolutely. But it's more than that. It's All not right, just a, that. That's on you. That No, it, it's, I'm saying it's more than that. I'm not defining All it right, as well, just let's, being let's, that. Let's, 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 let's get into the topic. Let's yeah. get into the topic. All right. <laughs> So the genre of video game movie. Yeah. <laughs> the which, best one is Postal by Uwe Bolt. No, no, no so we're going to talk. Well, I guess we should start by just talking about what we think is the best and the worst. And then we'll talk more about, I have more to say about stuff like this in the future. But like, let's just start and I'll kick this off. My favorite. Uh, okay, I'll start the other way. My least favorite <laughs> video game movie is Mortal Kombat Annihilation. That's close. Yeah, that's pretty fucking bad. I think it's it's one of the worst movies ever. It's oh, Rotten Tomatoes says two percent. That's low for video game movies. Never give up hope. Which have yeah. low percentages <laughs> regularly. Yeah. But uh, Annihilation Metacritic is. Metacritic eleven out of one hundred. Mortal Kombat, the first one, is a fun time, but I wouldn't call it good. But Annihilation literally just strips all of the good out of the first Mortal Kombat and yeah. just keeps the bad and then adds more bad. Yep. If you can believe it. One hundred percent. Mortal it's, Kombat. It's in my bottom three that I've seen probably. Oh, it's ever? fucking bad. Wow. Uh, for, no, for video game movies. Oh, video game. Okay, yeah, fair. It's bad. Yeah, it's my, awful. I think my least favorite simply might be Assassin's Creed because of how fucking boring it is. <laughs> oh, I would watch Assassin's Creed over Annihilation. And I don't like Annihilation's either Annihilation's cheesy, stupid yeah, bad. Yeah, that's, that brings... I think in the right setting, Annihilation at least has some form of enjoyment. Assassin's Creed is fucking boring. I, I don't know. They recast the entire fucking cast except Liu Kang in Annihilation. <laughs> and they didn't have to. Don't, uh, don't worry. Annihilation's probably the second or third worst. I'd probably say second. Yeah. But I think Assassin's Creed is... Damn. More towards the mid scale of general oh, it's bad so video game movies. Boring. It's not good. Let me be clear. Oh, it's, it's very ass. bad. Mm -hmm. but, or like yeah. Tomb Raider in the Cradle of Life. I have down there because it's another Angelina Jolie Tomb Raider movie. Joe Quinn, out of the ones you've seen, because My, I know okay. nobody in the world's ever seen all of these fucking movies. That's so. not there, true. That's not true. that's not true. Oh, Someone well, has to. Somebody has to have. But out of all the ones you've seen, what would you say is your least favorite? My least favorite, and it's not even that. It it's bad. But it's not even that bad. It's just it was super fucking disappointing to me. Okay. It was Ratchet and Clank. Really? Because really? it had such promise. It had a style that basically looked like it was from the modern games. And the yeah. game based on the movie is fun. It's fun. Yeah. And it's just a the movie is just a different retelling of the first game, but it doesn't have any of the same like charm to it. And it's this you ruin I don't know I don't know how every you you basically had all your cards and folded anyways mm -hmm. yeah like, what are you fucking it doing it lacked the charm and charisma that the game that it's based the game that they yeah. based off of it has the characters and that, aren't the, the same everything has the, no it it's very safe bland and corporate yeah yeah i would agree you're not wrong I, I, like, I don't I, think it's great <laughs> i think it's closer to the mid scale because i don't really have that same kind of attachment to ratchet and clank mm -hmm. but like it's have, not good. I have not seen Ratchet and Clank the film. I cannot comment I'm sorry. on it. it no, don't, don't don't. Why would you apologize? I'm happy for it. <laughs> not that I it, saw it in theaters. Not that I'm like a oh, huge God. hater on it or anything. I'm open to watching more or less any movie, but like I have no investment in the Ratchet and Clank franchise. I'm more of a Jack and Daxter guy. That's right. Um, Jack Daxter's Daxter. in it. Daxter's in it <laughs> for like two seconds. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, fucking can't wait for that. Really pay off for the fans there. Um, but we haven't talked about our favorites. My favorite. Out of all the video game movies ever made, I kind of have two answers. Okay. That's okay. Same. Because I think the most fun one is probably the first Mortal Kombat. I agree. 
I think that's the most excited it's, one to it's, watch. If I'm watching one of these, if you go pick a movie from this list, I'm putting Mortal Kombat on like eight times, nine times. Yeah, out I think Ian and I will agree, agree it's our guilty pleasure. It's so fucking fun. I love the action and I love the just everything about the Mortal it's so Kombat. It's so stupid and I love it. And that theme song, man. Bum, bum, it's bum, great. Bum. Yeah, it's, it's a The bigger. best actual one, though, is, and, and uh, granted, I haven't seen a lot of these. I haven't seen Angry Birds, which has a really high score for some reason. Angry Birds 2, not two. one. Yeah, not, not one. one. Not one. Um, I think the best made one is probably still Warcraft. Warcraft sucks. Warcraft does suck, but I'd still I think like the visuals are amazing. The world it's set in is amazing. I know it's just literally the game lore. The world it's set in looks amazing until you realize being a World of Warcraft guy. I played a lot of World of Warcraft when I was younger. I've played none. They got zero of the fucking lore in there almost. They got like a minuscule baby amount, and it's not even the interesting shit. I just really enjoyed like the orcs and wizards kind of warring and stuff like that. That was really cool mm -hmm. to me. And it's not a very good movie at all. But out of this list of oh, Street Fighter Legends of Chun Li and all this shit, I think it's the best one. So, yeah. Well, bar. well, Joe Quinn. Joe Quinn. I'm gonna have to I, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, that's it's, what it's I fucking Sonic. thought. But before, <laughs> no surprises before here. Before that, before before that. I want to give an honorable mention, even though it's technically an illegal move. I'm, I'm still going to give an honorable mention to Wreck-It Ralph. Oh, okay. It is a video game. It, it, it is a movie based around video games. It is not a technically the same way you would call like a video game movie. Yeah, it's, it's not an that. It's an adaptation. But it is so much fun, and there's like actually deep, really good character growth mm -hmm. for basically the whole cast in that movie. I'll, I'll be real with you. If this is on this list, it'd easily be my number one pick. Oh, absolutely. Easily, if it's counted, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm giving it an honorable mention at the very least. That's but fair. That is a fair move. So Sonic's your number so one. I'm glad we got to talk about Mortal Kombat mm -hmm. because now I can say the other two that I was thinking because I had three because we looked at the animated mm -hmm. movies at all. Uh, Pokemon 2000 is the best one, hands down. Fucking love Pokemon 2000. That shit slaps. Is that the first one? That's no, the second that's the one. Second one. Second one. Okay. Pokemon 2000 is a banger. That's the Lugia one, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't care that Rotten Tomatoes said 19%. Rotten Tomatoes give Thor 3 a th 90. Fuck Rotten Tomatoes. They're stupid as fuck. Uh, Thor 3 is pretty good. Yeah, Thor 3 is Ragnarok's a 6. Ragnarok's pretty good. Other one is also, to no surprise, Detective Pikachu. The story sucks balls, but the world is so gorgeous. It's. Uh, I feel the same way about Warcraft. Yeah. I feel yeah. the same way. Uh, they got some interesting stuff. There's a little Easter egg stuff. It's the same reason you like Sonic. We're not allowed to talk bad about this. Well, hey, no, 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 no. Sonic fucking sucks, Joe Quinn. Listen, <laughs> hey, I'm going to say, hey, Sonic hey. looks great. Sonic fucking blows. I'm the same reason. Doesn't even look that great. <laughs> Detective Pikachu uh, looks, to me, at the very least, the Pokemon designs are f fucking ugly. They're haunting some of them, but I don't think it's bad. It, they're pretty ugly. That's my issue. We with can it. agree. We can agree to disagree. The movie is just so fucking boring. Oh, the movie's the boring. Numbers. Like I don't like the story or the characters, but I like the world, and I think that if they actually get good writers on a Pokemon thing, it could be like a thirteen out of ten. Sonic for me, it's like the you nailed that design. If you have to bring Sonic into the real world for whatever reason, you nailed. There you go. You well, got you it. Don't, but but the, my biggest issue with Sonic is you. If you have to put Sonic in the real world, don't. Okay, so this well, kind of you can say the same thing about Pokemon. We're touching on. Well, this isn't it technically Pokemon World. Or hold on, we're we're touching on the big topic. I want to kind of get into this right about now. The Funk Soul Brother, this uh, type of movie, a video game movie, because the genre is a bad word, I guess. This sort of movie, I want to know, and I want both of your opinions as detailed as possible, because the question I have burning in my mind: Why? Across, what, four decades, three, several many decades of Hollywood cinema and across a hundred million different studios, production companies, directors and writers and stars and everything. Uh -huh. Why, aside from one or two exceptions, have they all sucked universally to this day? Ian. I raised my hand for that, by the way. Guys. You did. You That's why say. I called on you. Um, <laughs> easy. This is the easiest question, and I'm not even going to have to go into detail. The people making the movies don't know fucking shit about what they're writing. Uh, they go, oh, money thing, and then they make it. I think it's a little more complicated than that. Well, if, if I could kind of clap back, when when we talk about adapting something, I mean, Guardians of the Galaxy is nothing like the comic book Guardians of the Galaxy. It's just this fun kind of time, but it's easily one of the best MCU movies. I think when it comes to adapting a property, being faithful to the property is not even in the top like three or four things cool, important. But they're so far. But when it comes to Super Mario Brothers, the live action movie. Their last name 
He's Mario Mario that's and a Luigi joke. Mario. That's, a, that's, that's a, not a joke. They didn't know. <laughs> it's a joke. They didn't know. It's they literally went, oh, it doesn't make sense that they're the Mario Brothers. Make it their last name. That was real. That was. I mean, it was meant to be a joke in the context of the movie. It's not fun. However, <laughs> however, I, 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 have a sl- I have a more detailed I'm answer gonna th- for this. I'm going to say this before you go off, Joquin, is that like I never realized that there's a chance they might not have actually known that that wasn't the case when making the movie. I, it's unfalsifiable because you can't talk to the writers and say, like, hey, did you know that they're actually not last name Mario? <laughs> they, pro- they could say yes. They could say, I don't know. But, but anyway, like, joke one, go on. I agree, uh, bef- just before, yeah. I agree that you don't need to be 100% faithful, but you have to be fucking close, and a lot of these movies aren't fucking close. The video game movies we have on this list, we have stuff like Super Mario Brothers and Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Dude. that shit with, like, simple fucking plots already. Like, Mario Brothers is just so, go save the princess from Bowser. There's <laughs> nothing there. Mortal Kombat is do tournament. Do tournament. Do fight tournament Before, to death. Before, like, Mortal Kombat, like, five, there was no story. There was no story. It was just do tournament. Because video games were, they had to be basic because you couldn't really, there, how would you, how are you supposed to do lore? Okay. Well, but, I, I want to talk about that. But when you get, like, further on in to time. To Doom. <laughs> well, I mean, Doom itself, the first Doom. Doom has some lore. First Doom has some lore. It's not a lot. No, it's but something, but it's, it's not it's a lot. It's a comprehensible thing. The, they didn't even come close. They didn't come close, <laughs> sure. But the further you get along with video games, like you got shit like Max Payne, that's like a 30-hour story. And you have to try to condense down that story into, what, two and a half hours? But you could at least make it interesting. You can, they but don't. That, that's the thing. You have to ch- you have to pick and choose what you include from the games. Yeah. And most of the time, it's just easier to say fuck it and do its own thing can based I, slightly on the movie alone. Can I also say that, like, t- to something you, you've addressed, but Ian, you were actually also talking about earlier, is that, like, a lot of these movies, the writers have no idea about the games. Well... A lot of these movies, the writers perfectly translate the games, and they blow. Like, Assassin's Creed is very faithful to the Assassin's Creed series. That's because they focused on the Animus stuff, and the Animus stuff sucks in game. Yeah. It does suck in game, but, like, look <laughs> at Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider is more or less the game's no. Tomb Raider. No. Oh, no. 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 Hey, yes. No. Lord the Frost. only thing that she does is raid tombs. That's the t- point of the game. No. <laughs> That's what it's called. No. No. If you fucking play the, uh, if you play the original Tomb Raider games and then look at the Angelina Jolie movies, they're not even close. They're not even yeah. close. The Angelina Jolie movies, they're kind of blockbustery and dumb. But like the newer one with, um, what the hell's her name? Sure, uh, Alicia Alicia McCann. That's sure, that's that's relatively faithful. Just because it's faithful, I wouldn't say that that's necessarily going to make a good movie. One of the biggest issues that you're talking about. The games that are faithful, why would I play the neutered two-hour version when I could just play the game when I could just play the fucking game? Well, because you're not playing the film. <laughs> like it, it's yes, really, I am. I hit the play button. It's a completely <laughs> different type of media. It's a, me- it's it's a, a different worse medium. type of media for this kind of thing. It's not it like is. it's like, say, a comic book adapted from a book where they're both basically books where you're reading it the whole time. Like a movie and a game have wildly different purposes. It's like, Jake, would you rather watch a two-hour version of Batman Arkham City or would you rather play Batman Arkham City? Well, I am Batman. To that, I would say that the movies of Batman aren't based off of Arkham City, nor yeah, vice versa. But what if they did? No, yeah, that's what he's asking. Like, what if the movie? What if they made? What a, if they made a Batman what Arkham if they City? They made movie? a Batman yeah. Arkham City film, um, and it was the plot of the game, but in two hours. Then it would suck. I, I, it might not because that story's awesome. Oh my god! Depending but on you how have you, to pick and choose you, parts of the story. I can, you don't get any Victor Zaz, no Riddler, probably. Like that is true. You would skim down like a lot of the side characters, mm-hmm. which. Can't How is Victor Zaz going to call me on the payphone? That's that's you have to cut that. <laughs> okay, that kind of sucks in game. That can be cut anyway. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. My point is like, yeah, that's a good point too. But like, I would also say that taking the game and making it into a movie, I mean, surely, surely there must be a way to do it and make a good movie out of it. Now, I haven't seen Werewolves Within, which has like a fucking eighty-five percent VR Montanos. game. It's pro- based, VR it, games are practically movies anyway. Well, <laughs> it, it okay. Let's take what are the three or four that have been received well angry birds movie two angry birds movie two angry birds detective has Pikachu. no plot so okay. they can do whatever they want angry Bir- that's exactly what happened it's also a movie for children I, I know you don't like that but it is i guarantee you detective pikachu was not based off the story of detective pikachu it was just him in a hat the game of detective pikachu is nothing like the movie. right and could that not be said i haven't it's a vr game there's no fucking like elaborate story in werewolves within so i'm, I'm willing to bet that the best ones up here are ones that have a game where the story was not translated to screen. Or now, the game itself doesn't have an expansive story in the first place. You are saying best. 
I'm going to say the most well-received because the plot of Detective Pikachu is a z like a two, maybe a one. It sucks balls. Yeah. It's the thing that you like about the movie is the, the Pokemon and the fun of the Pokemon. Mm -hmm. But like You don't I, like the movie. I mean, I still think like it, either way, it's, it's still one of the best ones uh, up here. Easy. And I no, think one of the reasons for that is because the creators of the movie Detective Pikachu more or less had free reign. They said, hey, we can just take this entire Pokemon world and adapt it in a way we want to. As opposed to, say, I don't know, Hitman Agent 47 what about a game where a, a bald guy kills people. And you could go either make a good movie out of that or a fucking. You're very, fire. You're, you were very much implementing. Uh, you were very much like simplifying, simplifying. Hitman. But the thing about Hitman that makes it interesting is you can go in loud, you can go in silent. It's you. You can throw a banana at everyone in the level yeah. and kill them all. Mm -hmm. That's what makes Hitman fun. Hitman Agent Forty Seven with Zachary Quinto isn't doing that. And Zachary Quinto's well, in that, right? Well, I would also point out it's impossible. There's only one film. You can't go in a different way. You have to make one movie. You can't. You can't alternately have like a scene where he could have gone stealthily, or or like the player, the watcher, choose it. Like there's no. No, but that. like you could have it be like you could show like different assassinations. Oh, so you're like saying different... make a story where he does like a stealthy one at first, and then a later on he does one that isn't stealthy. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if that – that's not the same thing that Ian's talking about where, like, you could – you can choose which no, way No, but you it would still it. show off that you can it would, choose. It would give more of the essence of what Hitman actually is yeah. as opposed to bald man with QR code on his head. Mm -hmm. oh, that, that's just the way I – I mean, me, I have no exposure to Hitman except that I've seen Agent 47, the movie. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, that's what I got out of it, this cheap, shitty, generic assassin guy. You got out of that because you watched fucking Hitman Agent 47, I'm the sure. movie. I'm sure yeah. that if I played the game, I'd have a much better appreciation. Have you played any of the any of these games? Not Maybe not any of these, but most of these games here mm -hmm. are most of the movies. Especially like Far Cry. They're good. Oh, yeah, I'm they sure. They are good fucking games. I'm sure. I mean, they wouldn't be made if they weren't popular. So that's like a, it's, you know. It's decent. It's better than the UA Bowl movie. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather play that than the movie. I Watch just, the movie. It boggles my mind because, like, if you take like a property that like Hercules, anybody can make a Hercules movie. You, if you have the rights, you can make any video game movie as long as you have those game rights. So like, Hercules has had some awful movies, some great movies, and some mid movies because a lot of different voices add their voices or uh, uh, talents to it and make either good or bad movies. But universally, except for a very few exception, video game produced or based on movies have blown. And I'm just I'm still trying to wrap my head around. It's it. also it's also a thing. One thing we haven't brought up yet is. Japan seems to be doing a lot better in this regard. Well, they're predominantly Pokemon movies. It's not. No, it's not just predominantly Pokemon. They have list, other like five hundred of them. Yeah, there's a lot of Pokemon movies. Now, to sure. be fair, Pokemon's also the highest-grossing media franchise in the entire world. Yeah, so why true. would you not keep making them? That exactly. is very true. It's very the, true. I mean, like if we fucking look at a list of Marvel movies. You yeah, know, <laughs> it's the same. It's the same idea. Exactly. We look at the top-grossing movies of all time and then see like, oh shit, it's just all Marvel and Star Wars. Hundred percent. Because Pokemon, the first movie. An animated film that came out in like 1999 made almost 200 million dollars. Japan mm -hmm. seems to have this like kind of cracked. They know what they're doing. Usually, those have like direct tie-ins with like the actual game developers, and they can be like, "All right, we want to do this, this, and that mm -hmm. in this movie. Make sure you get that." And they end up being better most of the time. It's the same thing with the live-action anime releases. It's the same exact fucking thing. Yeah. Every American one is dog shit. Yes. And then every Japanese, almost every Japanese one, there are a couple of Almost every ones, Japanese one. Are really good. How many live action anime in recent years adaptations are there? Because I know Death Note a came out. Battle Angel. A Battle Battle Angel. Death, Angel. Note, Death Note. Um, Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell. <laughs> Ghost they in the did Shell. Cowboy Beat Bop the show the and show. people hated it. They and then it got canceled that. and then people loved it. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> I was up with that. I don't know. Like, they've done a bunch of stuff. It's, I don't think the American market understands. <laughs> adaptations of games and even some shows like avatar the last airbender the movie america what? is not good at ad adapting stuff into other forms they've done it successfully with books yeah. sometimes books comic well, books comic books, books. okay okay but books are just a really big story like there's no interactivity Everything. <laughs> there's no visual effects it's just a big story yeah, and if it's books, good it's a good comic. story Comics too. Comic, yeah. yeah. There's visuals in there, but like, still, it's a big story, and you can adapt. And most that. of the most of the comic book movies pay homage to visual stuff from right, the right. And yeah. I would argue that since 
movies are just a visual audio way of telling a story in a certain amount of time. Uh, video games are a better video audio way to tell these stories. Yeah. Th these well, yeah, because they originated as themselves. They originated. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can flesh out the stories more because you can have a forty-hour story. And experience. I think it goes both ways because Marvel's Avengers, the video game, fucking sucks. Well, okay, so I want to—that's that's a different situation. Guardians I know. of the Galaxy, the video game. I want to point out same thing. Well, people like that one. I haven't tried it yet. There's a very important reason why tie-in video games suck because they have very limited amounts of time to tie in and make a video game to tie into the movies. They had so much shit to do, and they had to tie in stuff in and make their own thing. I pointed at the list. Yeah. Every single one of these things has that same problem almost. Okay, well, I, I, okay. So when you make a video game movie. Some of them adapt the story from the games, and some of them, like Max Payne, are just a guy with two guns killing people, right? Wouldn't it make sense that if you're making a movie based on a game, that you wouldn't just adapt the story of the game verbatim? You have to adapt the essence. Well, what is an essence of, say, Blood Rain? What, what? Uh, can you pick a game I've played? Okay, fair. What Prince, is Prince of Persia. Prince of the per essence is he's Persian, not Jake Gyllenhaal. Fair, that is an important essence. That's the joke. I really wanted to make that joke. That's yeah. why I picked it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Need for Speed. Better example. Need for Speed. Race car. This is the point. The point of the game is that you're in cars and you're racing them. There yes. wasn't a story for Need. There wasn't a story to the Need I mean, for Speed game. Right. For, for a long time, yeah. though. We, you went from like 95 to 2003 without having a story yeah. in these games. Mm -hmm. They were simulation racers. It's like your fucking Gran Turismo's or yeah. your or your Forzas. There, yep, yep, there's yep, not yep, yep. stories to these games. Yeah, they're they they were just simulations, and they just made bad Fast and Furious. That's what they they for Need for Speed. They didn't take anything that was there. They just made a bad Fast and Furious movie yep. and then slapped the name for brand recognition. To be fair, how do you adapt the essence of a game? You that don't just adapt cars. Need for Speed. Yeah, you right. don't make it. You don't make right, it. Right, but like Fast and gonna, Furious exists. You, don't make it. Well, my point is, I don't think the movie sucks because it's a Need for Speed movie. I think it sucks because no, it's a bad. Sucks movie. because it's a bad movie. Right. Yeah, that's what we're saying. But what, what I'm saying is, you could have made a good movie. If this movie was called literally anything else, if this was just a fucking random Fast and yeah, Furious spinoff, what would this be? Fast Six or some shit? If this was it a spinoff, if if this was like Tokyo Drift or something, even though even then Tokyo Drift's not a good movie, but if this Tokyo was like, Drift's more fun than this shit. Yes, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying, if this was like Fast and Furious, Brazilian driving or whatever, the whatever, fuck, <laughs> whatever the fuck, it would right. it would be the same. It would be the same thing. This genuinely feels like a Fast and Furious movie. I agree. Wait. You know what? Joke one, I agree with everything you just said, but I would put that to my point of you could have made a good movie because all all you need to do to to beat the criteria <laughs> sure. of, of Need for Speed movie is have people race cars. Yeah. I mean, I can point to three or four good New Mortal Kombat. New Mortal Kombat. You know how you make that a good movie? Actually capture any of the essence of the games. I know that was a weird move, like you had not having a tournament of Mortal Kombat. It was the movie is Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat is the tournament between Earth Realm, Nether Realm, yep. the Outer Realms, and everything. This movie is about him trying to cheat at the tournament, but there, not the actual tournament. But was there a tournament? There was going to be, but he was trying to cheat. So there wasn't not Mortal yet. Kombat. Nope, that's the sequel. In the film titled Mortal no, Kombat? That's going to be the sequel. Based on the yeah. games that's about Mortal Kombat. Yes. And that, then he's going to bring Scorpion back to life. Because that's what happens in the games. So that's cool. Bring to do the thing. All right, I, I will admit, all joking aside, I, I, I super hate the new Mortal Kombat movie. Yeah, but sucks. the Scorpion and Sub-Zero portrayals, I really did appreciate. I think yeah, that, they that is a cool. very positive element of that movie. That being said, the movie sucks. And one of the reasons it sucks is, Ian, you're right, it doesn't capture the essence of... When the only bar to meet for a Mortal Kombat movie is that you have to have a Mortal fucking Kombat, yeah. even Annihilation, the worst one, had Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Like, they still had a tournament. This movie is the leading up to the tournament. So it's episode one of a season that doesn't exist. That's yeah, great. Basically. And it's so... <laughs> yeah. It doesn't have any of the fun. The kills aren't even that brutal in this movie. No. I mean, like, they're, they're really not. They're, they're kind of fun, though. I, I like when freaking Sub-Zero slices the blood, freezes the blood, and stabs him with the blood. Mm. That's pretty great. There's some cool things, but it doesn't have... You want more. I do want and more. I, I agree completely, and I, I think one of the reasons you want more from Mortal Kombat is because it doesn't do a lot of what it could have right. done. Yep. And the first, listen, the original Mortal Kombat, Not you good. can say whatever you want about it. That movie is fun. 
It is. And it captures the essence. Yeah, it there's captures... a difference between a fun movie and a good movie. Right, yeah. and, and it delivers on what at least you would expect from Mortal yeah. fucking Kombat. And now you have so much story and lore from 7, 8, 9, 10, mm-hmm. 11. Like, you can do so much stuff. And they went, nah. what if the movie is about Shao Kahn trying to cheat before Mortal Kombat? And the don't put Johnny Cage in it. Put new character that they created for the movie. Mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of time when they make a video game adapted movie, their priority, I feel like, isn't to make a good movie. It's just to make a movie that has the title. You know, Uncharted. Game. Right. <laughs> so what like, you just told me. I mean, who knows if it's going to be good or not? It it's looks kind of bad. But like, but you know what, good. though? The Uncharted movie is taking beats from the Uncharted games. It is. Okay. The scene where he's jumping from the thing to the yeah, thing. Yeah, that's from the, the third car. game. Yeah, that's, that's one, of the, one yeah. of the games. That's one of the best parts of that game, yeah. too. It's so much fun. Right. Okay. So th- but, maybe it's good. But, but like, here's the essence of Nathan Drake and yes. Sebastian's relationship because it's shitty young Nathan Drake and <laughs> fucking garbage Mark Wahlberg. Yes. Here's another problem. Here, well, here, it's not even a problem. You want a better way to adapt this shit? You don't do f- movies. You do television shows. It's going to be a weird thing to bring up, but the Sonic X is bad, but that I mean, it's better than uh, <laughs> it's bad, but it's better than the Sonic movie. You're right. The Kirby anime is actually really fucking good. I don't know if you've ever seen it, Ian, but it's actually... The Donkey Kong television show. It is yeah. <laughs> pretty bad. I think <laughs> if you're but that's not, because of the sh- that's not because of the game. If no, you're going to take like a big, long story of like a, like a deep... The Last of Us is becoming a series yeah, on HBO. That, that if they make... made a movie, it would fucking blow. It would absolutely blow, because you would have to do that whole fucking story in three hours. You would not get to have Joel and Ellie's relationship develop whatsoever. Yep. But w- w- because you're doing it in a series, you can actually develop that shit. Yeah, because the game it's uh, the Last of Us is like a thirty-hour game. So <laughs> plus my kind of question plus. about the Last I'm of Us saying, like, is minimum because yeah. I've I started to play the Last of Us, but it didn't really grip my my uh, gameplay centric brain. It wasn't really for me. My kind of question about the Last of Us uh, being adapted to say a movie or a TV show. Either way, the Last of Us is already kind of like a movie or TV show as is. So sure. like to yeah. me, adapting it seems, will be easy. <laughs> well, it seems kind of pointless. Cause you can say that of about of any of this no, shit. No, you can't because Need for Speed is not a cinematic event in terms of video games. Okay, but you it didn't need to be movie. called Need for Speed. No, but well, my, my point is you can make a good movie that has car racing and call it Need for Speed. Sure. And boom, done. Sure. But, but you could also make a good car movie and not call it Need for Speed. Either way. you. I mean, I, Jake, <laughs> they're making a new Doom movie. The new Doom games are cinematic masterpieces. Like 2016 and Eternals. I've never they got. played or watched any Doom things. Dude. You haven't watched Dwayne The Rock Johnson's Doom? No. I know he's it's in it, though. It's fucking <laughs> bad, bro. It sounds pretty bad. It sounds it's awful. Bad. It sounds bad. I know there's a scene or there's a shot in it where they replicate the play style where it's first person and he shoots all the guys in the hallway. Mm. It's in the film. That <laughs> scene is fun. It's not good, but it's fun. I think all the right. weirdest one. Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter is also... You put cinematic. guns! In Monster Hunter! They have chain guns in the new Monster Hunter games. No, they have, they have fucking, like, AK-47s in this fucking movie. Oh, that's because Mila Jovovich comes from the real world to the Monster Hunter world. Sure, but Which you didn't need... a terrible need... trope! You... <laughs> makes every movie it's in bad. You didn't need to do that. <laughs> that's what we're saying. You could make a decent Monster Hunter movie about, like, the guild. All yep. right, like as... a Monster Hunter guild getting together and defeating Jake, monsters for supplies. Jake, do you but... remember... Do I remember... remember He-Man? I do. But staying on topic here, Monster Hunter, as a guy who saw that movie in theaters and has not played anything Monster Hunter, I can say that the problem with the movie wasn't the absence of or inclusion of guns. The problem with the movie was that the movie fucking blew. Like, the story was terrible. I really like Tony Ya, but Mila Jokovic feels miscast. Mila Jokovic sucks in everything. I would also say that Monster Hunter is not a good property to adapt to begin with. Because the story, yes, there is a bare basic story, but it's usually just you as a hunter getting stronger. And trying to save the world from the bigger monsters. It's not even monsters. saving the world. Like, if you did No, it, but it, Zor- in, in Monster Hunter world, you got Zora Magnaros. It depends. And, um, it, it really does depend. Xena Jiva and for stuff. For most of the game, it's mostly just like, oh, well, this monster's not really bothering anything, but, like, we could use its supplies to, like, help build our village. So yeah. go fucking kill it. There are some good cinematic moments, but, like... Sure, but they only, s- they only just started doing that. The story is not dog shit. World is, like, a 2018 game. Yes, yes, it is. So they only just started yeah. to do that. I mean, the Silent, is- Silent Hills and Resident Evil is the same thing, but they have like seven of them. I still feel like the premise of like this: these normal humans with the right tools and skills can actually fight and destroy these massive tectonic monsters. I think that premise 
is dripping with the idea of a good movie. I don't think it can't be done. I just I think the way that was done was horrible. I think bringing a real world aspect into a into a fictional world almost immediately nullifies the specialness of a lot of what's going on. I want to talk about what the fucking Super Mario Bros. movie did. That, oh, ruined everything. It didn't. It was a bad start <laughs> to live action American. And then video right game after films, Double Dragon, which, which is, is also a and, they, and they've maintained start. that bad start for like forty fucking years. Hey, that so. bad start's still happening. Yep, they're still bad. Th this is yeah. This is that's my point. Like wow, they're getting better. <laughs> if you look at the upcoming ones, we have Uncharted, which looks like dog shit. It, I think Uncharted will get good scores. I think it looks awful. I think it looks bad too, but I think it's gonna get good scores. That doesn't mean it's good. Sure. Movies that get good scores aren't always good. Sure. I, I agree. I'm just saying I think the general audience is going to like Uncharted. That's because the general audience is dumb. Sure. I Again, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with you. No offense, everybody, by the I way. I was mentioning earlier about Last of Us being adapted and how I felt that was kind of reductive and pointless. If Uncharted the game series is a video game version taking heavily influence from Indiana Jones... Making that into a movie feels like ripping off the movie that already exists of Uncharted, which is just Indiana Jones. Tomb Raider, same thing. Yeah, yeah. Tomb Raider's so, Indiana Jones. So I get it, like Uncharted being the, like, or Tomb Raider being a premise of like we're taking this adventure element of Indiana Jones and fan funneling it into a game. That's a little bit more like uh, pushing boundaries. Like, hey, wow, we can do something cool in this genre too. But now that you're bringing it back to where the influence came from, the good thing about the Uncharted series isn't that it's like a Indiana Nathan Jones ripoff. It's about it, Nathan Drake is this a really compelling character, yeah. and you mm -hmm. like to see his. He's, new I journey. think he's actually almost a more compelling character than Indiana Jones because we have so much time with him. That's fair. And we only have four movies versus I'm sure hundreds, not hundreds, but like oh maybe even hundreds, <laughs> hundreds of hours. Of yeah, there's four yeah. games of those. There's so, yeah. four games. They're all relatively well, there's long. Technically five count the spinoff so one eight billion hours of, of nathan drake development so that makes sense like his relationship with everybody around him and what he does is the interesting parts yeah the adventure in the indiana jones style stuff is the plot points that drive that but the real essence is in nathan drake right and i think why i don't like the uncharted trailer is they fail the essence of nathan drake so hard well i love tom holland not nathan drake and Mark Wahlberg is awful, and everything he's in, <laughs> he ruins. But, like, yeah. Sebastian, I think that's his name, is an interesting play with Nathan because he's way older. Like, he's like, Ves it's like Vesemir Geralt kind of deal, mm -hmm, where it's mm -hmm. like Nathan is a veteran in his craft, and Sebastian is a veteran in the craft. Like, he is playing boats. Like, he does everything and helps catalyze it. Having him be younger and suave and, ooh, I'm fun and cool and I sound like I'm asking questions because I'm Mark Wahlberg and that's all I know how to do. It takes away from both of those characters, which takes away from the big essence of the game. And it's going to make it feel more like a ripoff of Indiana Jones but with a younger guy because that's what it's going to boil down to. A lot of these things boil down what you love. It's kind of like the Matrix sequels, how they boil down what you love and just try to make cool, fun, whoa thing. I would agree with that pretty hard, actually. And, you know, what's weird, too, is, like, the what you were talking about with, like, the casting of, like, oh, let's go younger and then the tone. The Uncharted games does not have the same tone as the trailers for Uncharted. Like, not the, at all. Those no. are very, like, comedic. Very, well, no, Uncharted. One-liners like, all the time. Well, Nathan Drake is full of one-liners. <laughs> Nathan sure. Drake is Captain One-Liners. But, but it's also... But he's very... They're sarcastic, serious one-liners. Yes. Not like the movie where it's like... But <laughs> I would say the important difference yeah. here is that the games aren't comedy. Like, the, the games no, aren't supposed to be The games are trying serious. to be... Yeah. Serious. In, in a way, yeah. They're trying to be grounded. And I feel like the Uncharted movie is like, let's just go full-blown red notice here. It's the boiled-down neutered version yeah. of what you love and that's think, what happens with video game movies it's i think a lot of it is the character work yeah i think i'm a big character work guy i still and feel like a lot of it gets boiled down when you make really, an really adaptation hard. of more or less anything you can still make whatever you're making somewhat good unless sure. the premise is so flawed and a lot of these games i hear are really good i haven't played a lot of max Payne or whatever like max like, Payne's fun these max games Payne's are received good. well clearly so when you adapt a movie off of them and you have at least some talented dude in there hypothetically you can make a good and, movie out but of it. you know what but, well is is <clears throat> let's say we're going to go back to assassin's creed or jeremy i am or jeremy irons and michael Mag fassbender michael fassbender i almost said magneto <laughs> and michael fast yeah i'm not wrong <laughs> are they the problem with the movie no not no. at all they're both fine they're both fine. the problem with the movie is their characters are 
pieces of cardboard. They're crap mm. characters. You're right. And the story And the is, story is the animus stuff, which is the worst part of the game. It easily is. You're absolutely right about that. And even still, as much as I hate that movie, I would still count it as one of the better video game adapted movies. It's one of my least favorites because it's just so... Real quick, let's look at what's upcoming. Okay, yeah. we, okay I'll Beca- go in order. I'll go in order. Uncharted. Let's talk shit. It looks talk shit, but... To its benefit, it is taking elements from the games. And it's yes. got the most bankable star of all time right now, Tom Holland, in there. I... And Mark Wahlberg, who's technically a bankable star. <laughs> Somewhat bankable. Do you guys want to do predictions? Whether the movie will be good or not? It's good. Awful. Okay, I... Uncharted, I think, will be fine because it looks well produced. I'm going to give it an out of 10. One or a two. I'm going to give it an out of 10. I'm going to, obviously, it's a fucking prediction. I'm going to give it like a four. Or five. I was thinking four or five, Joe Quinn. I think it'll be, be awesome. just I think subpar. general audiences, though, <laughs> I think the movie would just do fine having Tom Hall. <laughs> it'll probably make four or five. Right? Yeah, that sounds about right. For something like reasonable. Maybe five hundred dollars. <laughs> maybe three, because like a lot of these have been trending lower yeah. recently. Mm-hmm. So Sonic Two, I think it'll do about as well as the first one. Really? Sonic Two looks really it good. Looks better. It, but the thing that Sonic Two has from the trailers that I've seen. Are, I think they got the mannerisms and the essence of Sonic almost right in the first one. I think it's still off, but I think 2 is going to clear up on that. Knuckles seems right. We didn't see enough from Tails for me to go right. Uh, from what we've seen of Tails in the, like, the I know post credits and trailer of this movie. I think we're going to get more of the essence of... And it looks like the that. humans are gone. Yeah. And <laughs> Mostly it does, gone. It does look like... It's less human, which, which is, is my so one of my nice. biggest problems with Sonic Again. is they don't they had so much to work with and they didn't. So I think it's actually going to get a better rank, a uh, better rating. I think it's going to be a six or a seven. Personally. I per yeah, I think it not uh, for me. I mean, I, I just because of about, that Sonic boost, I think it might be like an eight or nine for me. I'll, <laughs> I'll, <laughs> comedy. No, I, I, I think Quinn. I'll talk about audience first because I'm, I'm assuming the audience knows my opinion about the first Sonic movie. Joker, so, he loves it. He loves it more than Joker. Yep. Uh, <laughs> it's actually his favorite, too. Uh, I, I think the audience will receive this about the same as the other one, if not a little bit better, maybe. The way I see it is because you have shit like Avengers Endgame, right? A lot of, obviously people that haven't seen marvel movies before watched endgame and we're still very like happy with the results of it i think just having more sonic characters will give people more stuff to like latch onto and be hype about it so they're gonna leave that only theater. if they know those characters only I, no, sonic fans. no you are you, you i mean if you again you watch endgame if you haven't seen like a lot of marvel movies or hell if you haven't seen any marvel movies you're still gonna go out of there and be like man i really like these characters and I think the Son- I think Sonic Two is going to have a sort of similar. Effect. Sonic Two is going to have an end game boost. Is it, what you're it is. Saying. It is a true statement to say that if you make a movie with good characters, people will like them. But I don't know if they're going to be good or not. I think they're. Go- I think, I think from the be- average audience's perspective, who doesn't know anything about Sonic, they're mm. going to watch the trailer or watch the full movie Sonic Two and go, "Oh, he's there's a red one. Oh, there's a yellow one over here. Okay, cool." And then it's the same exact fucking time. So like, I don't you- know. You, Jake, is of the opinion that the Sonic Two trailer looks. Exactly the same as the Sonic 1 With trailer. more Sonic characters, yes. Identical. Me and Ian... These st- I, it looks me and Ian cool. are so confused. I'm upset that they that. didn't play Gangsta's Paradise in this one. It, it would have worked better for this trailer. I'm not saying it one. looked the same as the first Sonic's trailer. I'm saying it looks like the same movie with more characters. Sure. I'm saying it looks identical almost. Like, you literally just subbed out your scripts. I don't see it. So the, next Mad is, Libs. the next one's Borderlands. Oh, yeah. I know no, the next not, one's Borderlands. I think Borderlands. this is going to bomb. I Personally... I think, All right. I think this has the... We haven't seen anything from this movie. We haven't yet. seen anything. But just the idea of a Borderlands movie... It's basically just like an eclectic cast of characters, and you're just doing a bunch of shit on a mad dash to try to find the vault before anyone else. When okay. you say that, though, you have to kind of make it clear that these characters that you do play as are mostly blank slates. Until you get to, like, Borderlands 2. Two, two is where, where everyone shines, and that's where they're going to draw the style from, for Sure. Sure. I still think that the main characters that you do play as in two are sort of just blank slate characters. They you don't they're better. There's no depth to them though. No, but they're at least fun. Sure, but there's the Borderlands games are kind of meant to be comedy centric FPS shooters. Can, can I yeah. ruin it realistically? Sure. The movie's gonna start with a normal people in a normal place on Earth, and they're gonna portal there and be like, "What's this wacky video no, game world?" No, they're not. No. We're gonna nope. go there. Are you sure? Because nope. I bet you they're Roll- gonna pull some stupid nope. shit like that. Click on that. They have cast members. They have Roland. They mm-hmm. have. I'm going for. It. I bet Tina, you that's exactly what sure. Hollywood would do. I think it's gonna be Lilith. 
Roland, Claptrap, Tannis, Tina, Krieg. That's weird. He's in the second one. Film is produced by Avi Arad. Of Spider-Man fame. Oh, okay. All right. That's interesting. Commander Knox, Mad Moxie, Gina Gershon. That's funny. Okay, um, maybe there's no normal people. No, all you know what? All Borderlands characters. I think it's going to be like a James Gunn style film. Okay. I mean, that's, I could that's see what that. the, the freaking poster looks like. So That's, the, that's, that's kind of the what the poster for the game. Yeah, that's the official the logo game. for the movie. That's, yeah. yeah, that's official. That's funny. Yep. But uh, yeah, um, okay. It is really difficult to gauge reception when you haven't seen a trailer because the trailer yes. can suck. You know, you never know. But I still think I'm tentatively excited because Borderlands Two is one of my favorite games I've ever played. Just based on the name alone and knowing that and the like, cast isn't bad, honestly. Yeah, name cast fucking characters that are going to be in it because there's no plot synopsis yet. Nope. You can only assume what they're going to do. What do you think? As the biggest Borderlands fan in this room, me, do you think the movie is going to have a good critical reception? And I think. Okay. What do you think your score? I would can't be? say if it's going to have a good critical reception without seeing anything. I can. They all won't. <laughs> That's the history. I think I'm going to gauge myself at a five or a six because I still think it might end up being positive because of the styles of the game works well in a cinematic form. Mm -hmm. The rest kind of, these... of like a Guardians. I feel like the bad thing that it could be is I feel like it might be too much like a Guardians of the Galaxy, and it might feel like a ripoff. The only other one is the Untitled Mario film, which is soon. I think. I think Illumination. It's gonna be dog shit. Can we look at Illumination's like scores, like Rotten Tomato scores? So, hop. Oh my god. Oh, I forgot they did hop. Let's go. <laughs> okay, but like fifty-four percent is not fresh either. Like <laughs> I'm gonna say right now though, I don't like most of these movies i don't like illumination i think despicable me still holds up despicable me too i like the first i one. think it's right. i think it's okay uh everything else on this list is yep i've only <sighs> seen the lorax i've seen the lorax i don't like it the lorax is bad i don't like it yeah it's a bad movie there's no plot synopsis of Mario. There's no plot synopsis in Mario itself. <laughs> well, I was going to say, like, do you do you think it's going to be Mario going through tubes saving Princess Peach from Bowser, the story? Or do you think it's going to be, like, a different uh, thing? It? Like, anything else, you know? I see it being, like, a, a trek around the Mario world. And to be fair, the Mario world is decently large. There's a lot that you could work on. There is there. a lot of lore in the newer games as long as they don't do original Mario. Yeah. But at the same time, I think for general audiences, they are going to try to do original Mario. It's going to be weird. It, I'm not I'm so not excited. Charlie for Day is movie. a great Luigi idea. That's Charlie the, Day is the best Luigi idea. That's the fantastic idea. Yeah, that's my favorite casting. We don't know what it's going to be like. We don't know if it's going to be an accent. I think the Mario movie is going to suck because Illumination I, makes <sighs> lazy animated films. Their animation's not good at all. I think it's, it's very lazy and boring and simple for ADHD-riddled kids. I think they're going to try to make things, like, loud like they always yep. do. Every Illumination movie is really loud. Yep. It doesn't have, like, a moment of peace. I would, I would still think that making the movie animated is still the smarter of the two options. Yes. Oh, oh absolutely. My. Listen, We've seen well, okay, what happens that, when that, you... That, we, seems, we, uh, that seems obvious, but to Hollywood, nothing is obvious. Let's be clear about okay. that. <laughs> if you make a live-action Mario movie, you get the first movie on this list. Yeah, but you could also hypothetically make a movie that isn't... Heaping piles <laughs> of shit as bad as this Nintendo one. Nintendo <laughs> knows. One thing that is promising about this the ain't no game. Sorry, go on. The, the, the one thing that is super promising about the Mario movie is Nintendo knows that the last one was bad, and they have a lot of control over this one. So I don't think Nintendo is going to let it be egregiously bad. All right. Then gonna... again, at the same time, Nintendo also had uh, script control over the first Mario movie. Well, they're also listed as like one of the dudes from Detective Pikachu. Right? Um, that's not a good... That's not I'm going to gonna say right now, Nintendo, with the Mario franchise especially, has been trying to make everything very clean and un unfun for the for a while. Yeah. So that's why I'm not excited. I, I kind of want to point something else to, too. Like, I mean, it, Nintendo has no cinematic track record of being good. There's no way to guarantee that people who have uh, not they... done... That's not true. The animated Pokemon movie... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you want to count Pokemon, but they only get... I am, because they, they're video game films. They only get one-third of that cut. Cool. And it's also way different than any of the sure. Pokemon animated movies, and I'm sure. But my point is, it's a it's a different skill set making an animated Pokemon movie here's versus... The, here's the thing, Jake. 
Yes, Nintendo doesn't have the best track record because they're 1-0 right now, but they are 1-0 because they were like, no, this was bad for us. This hurt the image of our I, character. I wouldn't even say 1-0 because I wouldn't count a 1993 movie as like being relevant to how well, we then, can do today. So it's zero. They have no record is my point. It's like a credit score of zero can't buy a house. Why should I believe in Nintendo when they haven't done anything to prove me otherwise? Because they, the way I see it is the, they saw how bad Super Mario Bros. was and was like, no, we're not doing this until we know it can be done right. I think it's going to be either a four or a five, personally. Mostly because Illumination. Yeah. I'm going to reserve my judgment until I see at least one trailer. I also want to see a trailer. There, It's going to be soon. It's weird that they haven't showed off designs. It's going to be soon. When's the movie coming out? December this year. Yep. December this year? Okay. Uncharted, Uncharted. Uncharted, Sonic 2, and Mario are all confirmed for this year. Borderlands yeah. is filmed, but it's up in the air right now. It's fully filmed. It's fully filmed. It I don't know why it's just out. sitting on a shelf. But either well, way. Well, what about the King's Dog? Maybe the movie sucks <laughs> and they're just trying to fix it. Who knows? It makes sense. <laughs> We're going to get a Mario trailer this summer, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we might get character designs soon. I want the character designs from the games. I don't want to see something different, especially in an animated format. I don't want to see it be different. I want it'll probably be like, I I would think like Smash almost looking. I'm, Smash is the designs from the games. Yeah, so I don't, I don't think they'll they'll up, dramatically maybe change. Maybe sometimes a different art style, because but like the, the actual models themselves are basically. Well, the Mario movie is animated, so there's no reason to change it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Why As opposed to like okay. a live action format, you'd have to have a like fucking Bob Hoskins in a hat. You, you can't make him. I mean, he looks and... like Mario, kind of. <laughs> and, yeah, he, he did a good voice, I guess. But no, the point is, if it is animated, he, did a you good already voice. Have... he didn't do an Italian. Well, uh, actually, to be fair to that movie, Super Mario 64 wasn't out yet. Look, Charles the, Martinet it, did not play Mario. Look, yet. if the point of the Mario movie, the new one, is to capitalize on the title of Mario, then there's no reason to change the designs of the people you're trying to capitalize off of. You know what I mean? To yeah. identify okay. with the audience. But you know? this whole this whole discussion is Hollywood has been stupid. That's, that's true. Is Nathan going Drake to, is not Tom Holland. And true. Hollywood is going to continue to be stupid. That is I very agree. true. You, I think that's yeah. a perfect wrap-up point. Yeah. Yeah. Hollywood has been stupid. Hollywood mm -hmm. will continue to be stupid. That's an excellent point. I'm waiting for the day. Now, I haven't seen Werewolves Within. i got to keep clarifying. But like I'm waiting for the day that I watch a truly great video game movie. Even then, Jake, the Metacritic score is at least 65. Hey, look, this could be awesome. Rotten. Sure. Is it, it based off one reviewer? <laughs> That'd be 100. because The highest be rated critic scores for a film based on a video game on both Rotten Tomatoes and Metacritic. So that shit Metacritic score is the best one. So to eat that. I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> yeah, people listen to Metacritic. 66 out of 100 is the best? Oh, my God, that's bad. Wow. What does that say about the fucking track record of 66% is the best you can fucking do? That's yeah. still an F. That's failing. No, that, uh, no, that's a D minus. That's a D minus. Sixty-five. Oh, that's barely an F. Or D minus, rather. That's two points away from a fucking. Depending on your grade. school, because my school did um, anything under a sixty-five is an F. Can you imagine uh -huh. if the best grade you ever got over the past like thirty or forty years of school <laughs> was a D minus? That's the highest score. Hey, fun fact: you would have failed school. If my, <laughs> if my, if my dipshit son gave me like. <laughs> Like, he got Fs and everything else, but he gave me, like, a, a, a paper of his that got a 66. He'd be like, I'm so proud of you, son. I'd look at him and be like, you're still an ultimate failure. I would say, wow, son, that is the highest rated <laughs> grade you've ever had in your entire life. <laughs> damn. Where else have Damn, I should have gotten it a portion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Did Metacritic give Prince of Persia the Sands of Time a 50? All right, that's enough of this. I'm just waiting for the first great video game movie. I don't think it's going to exist soon. I think that Borderlands is gonna be fun. We're gonna see Sonic 2. Oh, dude, it's gonna be good. Yeah, I'm really excited for that. Me and Ian are gonna, we're gonna come out of that Sonic 2. And say it's good automatically because you like Sonic. That's not true because I hate most of the Sonic games. <laughs>